Hey everybody and welcome back to the Average Woman Podcast. I am that lady, Miss Nicole, coming at you today with another topic that is near and dear to my spirit. So let's get into it. So today we are continuing our conversation about how to get a man to marry you. So we are on, um, in the past videos, we've named several different great tips that you can incorporate into your personality, into your life ways that you could things that you could do to step your game up to become a wife for a man so some of the things are you have to listen you need to sex him when he asks you to you need to cook for him you need to share with him you can't be greedy with him he is a a man of many people and they you know they love him so allow him to to have family and if he already got kids allow him to be in his kids life you got to be ready to share this man you got to Be clean. You got to keep a clean house. You have to fear God, ladies. If you fear God, you're going to respect your man, and a man is going to respect and love you for that. You ain't going to get nothing unless you give a little something, ladies. So I got to pay these bills. Uh, NicoleArcher.com is my website. If you want to do some business, you want to contact me, set up some time where we can talk one-on-one, that's where I am. Um, I also have the Good Herb Shop where I make custom-made herbal teas to help you get and feel your best. And that's what I'm all about. I want to see you win, ladies. I'm your sister from a different mister. And we'll be right back after this message. All right, y'all. So let's get into it. So today we are talking about how to get a man to marry you. So... I've already previously given you 11 hot topics to to figure out how uh, some ways that you can get a man to marry you. You can go on my Average Woman channel and check those videos out, or you can just stay right here on the Average Woman podcast on Spotify and iTunes and listen to them, but it's going to take some time for me to release them. Um, So at this time, we are on number 12, and this seems to be a topic that you know women seem like like we have really optional like that's optional and that is to be feminine like honestly ladies we don't really have an option you know to be masculine you can you can display masculine attributes okay but you can't be masculine all you're doing is pretending to be a male but the only person that thinks of you that way is you because everybody else around you see you for who you are it's like uh you're caught up in your head thinking that you're doing something you're acting like you're acting you're putting on a show you're acting so we don't have time to be acting ladies you know um I understand that life deals uh, gives us all kind of trials and tribulations and everything. But the one thing that you don't have the option to put away is your femininity. I mean, God made you a female. You know, those of us that understand that we don't have an option to be a female. But he made you to be a female. And you possess, a, a female possess femininity. We have feminine traits we're, we're, we're not equal to a male we don't have the strength that they have we don't have the inner workings that they have we don't have the, the the knowledge and the instincts that they have no more than they have the knowledge and the instincts that we have the strongest attribute that you're ever going to have is to be in your full feminine feminine state you know that is your that is your strength walking in your femininity you are strong in your femininity when you apply it correctly okay being feminine is not about being a pushover it's not about being you know somebody doormat it's not about being sealy from color purple that's we're not asking you to be sealy from color purple okay nobody's asking you to let somebody walk all over you and have all kind of wives and dog you out and all this stuff, but it's about <clears throat> it's about embracing you yourself as a woman 
you can't you can't accomplish things and reach your full potential until you fully understand who you are. How can we be so quick to tell a man where well, you're not being a man when you can't really even embrace your femininity? You think that that's optional to like put your femininity aside and entertain being masculine or putting on what you think is masculine traits. And it's not. You are a woman all day, every day, whether you choose to feel like it or not. It's not about how you feel. It's about what it is. And we have to stop thinking that because we can hard time a man. Oh, just, the only thing we hard time in our men with is money and, and, and kuda, you know, you know, intercourse. That's it. You just hard time your man and then go get that from somewhere else. So all this bulldogging and and, and wolf chalk, wolf talking and all these of these men, you gotta stop. All this clapping your hands, jumping all up in these men's faces. Who do that? And still expect the man to want to be with them. I think that any woman, if a man had common sense, okay, if a man had common sense and he, and they see you jumping all up in other men's faces, giving men hell, uh, disrespecting the, the, your baby daddy out on the street, as a man, that would make a man not want to deal with you. A man, a man should not want to continue to deal with women that show behavior that is unco- unbecoming of a woman. And nowadays, being a woman is back in fashion. And a lot of y'all are out of style. Because femininity is always going to be in style. Can't nobody tell you, uh, it, it can't tell you different. There's nothing more beautiful than a woman that's embracing and walking in her purpose and in her femininity because that's the only thing that you can do. And putting on fake hand nails that don't make you feminine, that is not, has nothing to do with femininity. You know, fake hand nails, that's just being fake. Embracing your femininity is about being, embracing a, the female aspect of who you are. From asshole to elbow, it's about embracing you as a woman, understanding your limits, your boundaries, what you can and can't do, what you're capable of and not capable of, what your purpose is, what your role is. That's what it is. Not always trying to be more and greater in this. And why? When being a woman is great alone because you're so great, you have other people that want to imitate you. So you got to be a wonderful, wonderful thing. So just bring that energy back down a little bit because it's really not you're not doing you're not hurting anybody but yourself don't no man want a woman who got all this bass in her voice talking to him clapping hands bruh 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 anytime a man addresses you as bruh he has no respect for you that means that you are totally to him you a man which means he can put his hands on you all kind of ways he has no respect for you but the, the one that he addresses as yes ma'am and no ma'am, he has, a, he has a little bit more respect for her. So he'll be a little less hesitant to call her a bitch to her face or disrespect her or mistreat her. But the ones that's running around here with your hand in between your legs, you know, you out here with your hat turned back, you out all night, they don't have no respect for you. And you cannot compare... You don't even, you ain't even in the class of a woman. You're not even in the class of a woman. So that's why you get mishandled and mistreated. Because your femininity supersedes any kind of thought that you would have about being anything else. You being a woman is more important than anything because it identifies you as the person that you're supposed to be. You have to walk in your purpose in order to truly be happy and get the things that that God has planned for you. And thinking that just because you get out here and work and just because you figured out how to pay the bills on time or you went to school and you got your master's degree and now you're making all this money, you think like you done, you the man. You're not. You're just a woman who got a good job. That's it. Don't let that shit go to your head, y'all. Because at the end of the day, it don't mean nothing. I'd rather have, look at Oprah. Got all this money, no man. She hanging out with Gail all the time. 
Now, if you want that for yourself, that's all well, good, and fine. You continue to go on that route. But you women who desire a man, I suggest you hang that Oprah and Gail and that all the single lady shit up. Because it's not to your, it's to your downfall. It's not going to help you win at all. And it's going to put you out there unprotected and in need of some assistance. So you definitely want to be weary of that. Men are not going to have any kind of any kind of respect or any kind of sympathy for you when you run around here acting like you harder and better than them. That's just not how it go. I'm not the one who made the rules, but I believe in the rules and there's rules that need to be followed. We women have our own place in society as caregivers and home takers and workers because it does take two incomes. It takes us working to help our men, but we got to fall back into our position, which is is homebodies, which is not out here in the streets all the time, which is not always up in some man's face hollering and screaming like you retarded, which is letting them get the last word. I ain't got to argue with you. Let them get the last word, you know? Staying in your place, respecting respecting yourself. You know, you already know you could cuss. Ain't can't nobody talk faster than you. You the most fast talking his neck, popping this thing on this earth. Why you can't just let our men have a pass with all that and save that for people who who deserve it? But our men don't deserve it. They deserve peace. They deserve a soft, kind, spirited woman that love them, that'll do anything for them, that, that wants to satisfy them and see them happy. Stop worrying about what you getting out of it. Because that's that it's in your nature. Mother Earth. We are the just like y'all say, we're Mother Earth. I'm Mother Okay, well Mother Earth. She doesn't ask us to give her anything, but she provides us a strong, firm foundation, and she nurtures us. That's what Mother Earth does, okay? Mother Earth not asking for anything, because Mother Earth knows if she love her family, they're going to love her back. You ain't got to worry about you, because your husband going to take care of you. And if he ain't taking care of you, then you can take care of yourself. What's wrong with you? You know, if he can't think of what you need, then you know what you need. So go get what you need. Stop putting all that pressure on him like he got to figure everything out. He don't have to figure everything out because he can't think of every damn thing. If you see something needs to be done and you do it, that don't make you the man. That just makes you his wife. That makes you his helpmate. You doing what you supposed to do, Heifer. Congratulations. You becoming an adult. You don't get a pat on the back because you can manage the bills and you went to school and you got a good job. We all do that. That don't make you no more special than the next person. But what really sets you apart is when you have that humble, meek spirit and you understand your purpose and you allow the, the natural essence of you to come forth, that sweet person, that loving person, that kind person to your family, nurturing your family and your kids, being a support instead of a problem giving your baby daddy a pass so he can get his mind right so he can get his life together so he can help you with the kids you know you got to stop being selfish you got to pull all that and ain't gonna let no nail tell me what to do i ain't go you gotta let that go because you ain't doing nothing but hurt yourself men like women and when you're not acting, you, you are not a woman if you think that femininity is optional. Period, point blank. If you think that you can turn your femininity on when you want to, and you could go from this way to this way one day, with no, <laughs> you still a woman every single day, whether you choose to accept it or not. That's why the men be looking at y'all like, I don't understand, you supposed to be a girl. You know, like, I digress. Until next time, ladies, I'll see you on the flip side.